Well, with flakes of fresh snow continuing to fall here and there, not nearly as heavy as the snowfall, the wind continues, and so does the blizzard warning for the entire Red River Valley, all the way down into parts of South Dakota and West Central and Southwest Minnesota. Winter storm warnings in the Red Counties for Lakes Country and also out to our west continue through around 9 o'clock or later tonight for different areas, depending on where you are, then taking over the entire region under a wind chill warning for dangerous wind chills approaching 50 or 55 below zero at times. Take a look at our live sky cam right now. The Valley sky cam is definitely showing a lowering of the cloud deck. Some more flakes making their way in and that blowing snow gets lofted into the atmosphere as well, reducing visibility and of course creating some of the drifts we showed you moments ago. I want to take a moment to let you know that numerous new road closures have been announced on the Minnesota side of the Red River. And that includes Highway 10 between Fargo and near DL. Also Interstate 94 from Fargo down towards the Rothsay area. Then there's an open patch and closed again on the other side of Fergus Falls. And nonetheless, you can get the very latest on road closure information by going to valleynewslive.com. But we encourage everyone to stay off the roads, and that makes uh, things a little bit easier for our crews to get things cleared. Very light snowfall, but that wind is picking up that fluffy snow that, by the way, ranged from around two inches down to the south to nothing in the Devil's Lake Basin. And in between, a solid area of anywhere from three to over 12 inches of snow in portions of Lakes Country. A bigger view shows, again, all light in color on the radar indicating light snowfall. Five below right now feels like 32 below, and that's out at Hector with gusts to 37 miles per hour. And driving has been difficult even in the lim city limits of Fargo, Moorhead, and West Fargo. 11 below in Devil's Lake. Temperatures are going to be on their way down. We've been steady in the single digits below zero for much of the rest of the region. Wind chills already dangerous, approaching 40 below in Langdon is what it feels like on exposed skin. And if you must travel, always carry a survival kit with something to stay warm in. Wind speeds will remain fairly strong between now and 10 o'clock, and then they start to taper off, but they will continue to blow at between 15 and 25 miles per hour. We could still have a few areas gusting to 30 miles per hour or more down to the south and east. That's at 10 o'clock. Uh, overnight, we'll have a consistent wind, about 15 to 25 miles per hour. And then as we get towards daybreak, it gradually diminishes. That's what's going to cause dangerous wind chills as the air temperatures in white drop down to near 20 below across the region. We'll have wind chill values between uh, 35 and 50 below zero. Skin can freeze in mere minutes at wind chills of that magnitude. Heading into the day tomorrow, it does look like a, it won't be as windy, but air temperatures will stay close to 10 below for afternoon highs. Then heading into the night tomorrow, another very frigid one to close out the work week. As far as uh, snow goes tomorrow, it looks like we won't see much of that, but it will be a very brutal day with highs in Fargo of 8 degrees in the afternoon and again tomorrow night dangerously cold. Here was a photo shared by Samantha in the Fargo area and the drift uh, reports we got anywhere from three feet to the kneecaps and all the way up above our heads. Nine foot drifts in some spots out there today on the uh, downwind side of obstacles like buildings and garages and such. 19 below Saturday morning as well. That's a brutal one, but we do manage in the afternoon to get back above zero. We can't rule out a few uh, snow sprinkles, if we can call them that. Not a lot of accumulation. Sunday, it looks dry and temperatures back up above zero in the afternoon. Now, next week, we do warm up all the way into the balmy teens for Monday and Tuesday, but another round of snow. The main core of this weather system is going to be working its way through states south of us. So with any luck at all, it won't be a lot, but we will keep our eyes on it. And lovely weather for Thursday, which just so happens to be Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. uh, 10 below in the morning, so <laughs> you won't have to worry about your chocolates melting. But if you get flowers, you don't want to spend much time outside. No, no, cover, the, cover them up. Right. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Hutch. You bet.